When analyzing data, it is sometimes useful to temporarily group or split data, in order to compare results across different subsets. This can be useful, when you want to compare frequency distributions, or descriptive statistics with respect to the categories of some variable, especially if you want separate tables of results for each group. We will show you in this video how to group or split data in SPSS. To split data, click data on the menu, then click split file. The split file window will appear. By default, the data set is not split according to any criteria, this is indicated by the default option selected analyze all cases, do not create groups. There are two ways to split the data, by comparing groups, or by organizing output by groups. For both splitting methods, there are two considerations to be made. Firstly, the splitting variable should be nominal or ordinal categorical. SPSS will not stop from using a continuous variable as a splitting variable, but it is a bad idea to try to attempt this, SPSS will see each unique numeric value as a distinct category. Secondly, in order to split the file, SPSS requires that the data be sorted with respect to the splitting variable. By default, the option sort the file by grouping variables is selected. Now, double click in a variable, and click OK to turn split file on for that variable. When we no longer want to split the analyses by group, we can turn split file off through the same window used to turn it on. Here, click data on the menu, then click split file. Choose analyze all cases, do not create groups, then click OK. You can now run all analyses normally again. Let's see what are the differences in the split file options. The compare and organize options produce numerically identical results, when the same grouping variable are applied. This is true regardless of what statistical analysis is used. The difference between the two options is how the numeric results are presented. If compare groups is used, then all of the results will be shown in a single table. The table will have sections, showing the results for each group. If organize output by groups is used, then each group's results will be put into a separate table. The choice of which splitting method to use is entirely about what format the user wants their results in. For example, to split the data, in a way that will facilitate group comparisons. Click data on the menu, then click split file. Now, select the option compare groups. And double click the variable gender, to move it to the groups based on field. When finished, click OK. After splitting the file, the only change we will see in the data view is that, data will be sorted in ascending order by the grouping selected variable. Now, let's view the aforementioned descriptive statistics for the variable height, with respect to the variable gender. This table gives us a breakdown of how many observations were in each group, and the minimum, maximum, average, and standard deviation of each group. The dot group contains cases with missing gender values and non-missing height values. At a glance, we can quickly take note that in this sample, the height of the tallest male, was greater than the height of the tallest female. The male heights tended to have a slightly larger standard deviation than the female heights. On average, the males were taller than the females. The individuals with missing values for gender, had a much smaller range of heights, than did the males or females. If we choose to split data using the option Organize Output by Groups, and then run a statistical analysis in SPSS, the output will be broken into separate tables for each category of the grouping variable specified. To do this, click Data on the menu, then click Split File. Now, select the option Organize Output by Groups. Then, double-click the variable Gender, to move it to the groups based on field. When finished, click OK. After splitting the file, the only change we will see in the data view is that, data will be sorted in ascending order by the grouping selected variable. Now, we will rerun the same descriptive statistics procedure. After rerunning the descriptive statistics, we see that, the output is broken into three sections, based on values of the variable gender. 
The first section reports the minimum, maximum, average, and standard deviation of height for the students, who had missing values for gender. The second section reports those same statistics for the male students, the third section reports the statistics for the females. We finish here the video. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our channel, also, don't hesitate to leave your comments, these will inspire us to create more videos. See you soon in the next videos.